just packing up our stuff here at Kafana Guest House. We are leaving Aswan, heading to the train station for an overnight first class sleeper train to Cairo. I'm Angela and I'm Jeff and we're Pure Detour. In the summer of 2021 we quit our jobs to travel the world full-time. This month we're traveling around Egypt to explore the beaches, cruise the Nile, and see the legendary ancient sites. Always, we are early. That train behind us is not even our train. Ours is the next one, so we're gonna wait a bit. This one does appear to be our train. Try not to get your Winnie the Pooh tummy in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> we have boarded the train and we met our amazing conductor Sharif who's going to be taking care of us the whole time while we're here. We wanted to give you a tour of this little cabin that we've got. Uh, so there's a seating area down here and I think that that area folds down into the bottom bunk. And then up top is where I'm guessing Jeff is going to make me sleep. And then back here we've got a sink and a mirror, some towels, uh, a plug, there's some soap, we've got free soap, amazing. And that's this portion of the cabin. Jeff will show you the other portion. Not a whole lot to see here. You can see we're kind of cramped. This is the door that comes in to the unit. We have a bunch of stuff here that does not work. We have a couple of lights. We have a storage area up top there for our luggage which is fantastic. And then we've got a little wardrobe area and we have a door here. This is first class Egypt. So, they're calling this the first class train. Uh, it's because, you know, you actually get a bed to lie down on. Uh, Jeff is being a bit of a princess and going, oh, first class train, what is this? But like, it's fine. It's kind of what you expect, um, especially for the price that we're paying. I think the tickets were like 80 US dollars yeah, it is or something. Picture. You know, so for the transportation as well as the accommodation, because we'll be sleeping here overnight, like that's pretty inexpensive. So it's it's kind of what you would expect. Yeah. It's eight o'clock and we have just been brought our dinner. So now it's the moment of truth. Let's kind of open this up and see what we've got here. First off, it looks like we've got some kind of bun and tahini sauce, which makes everything better. So happy about that. It looks like we have three little dishes here. All right, ready? Number one, rice, okay. That's good. It's yellow, maybe cooked in some kind of chicken broth or something. Awesome. Number two, chicken. So far, this looks better than I thought it would, so I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm not unhappy with how it looks. And number three, looks like a mix of peas and potatoes and carrots and sauce. Let's give it a shot. So despite the fact that their little holder for the tray here doesn't work and I'm having to hold it in my lap. <laughs> the food is actually quite good. I'm, I'm really shocked right now. The rice is fantastic. Vegetables and potatoes are delicious. The chicken's great. We'll see how this all goes. I got the tahini and the bread still to go, but it's actually really good. I was expecting train food to be like airline food, but worse. And that actually isn't the case here. Like it's not a gourmet meal by any stretch of the imagination, but it's tasty and it's hot and it seems pretty fresh, like much fresher than most airline food you have. So yeah, I'm not unhappy with this. So you know the food wasn't bad because 
I still have a whole tray full of food. Still working on it. You done, ma'am? I am now. <laughs> So we finished our dinner. We've gotten all ready for bed. Uh, the guy who is in charge of our whole car here, his name is Sharif and he's been co so kind and so sweet and he helped us make up the bed. And so we're ready to turn in tonight. We will check in with you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. It's 5.30 a.m. We still got a little ways to go to get to Cairo but I'm gonna let the camera run here for a minute just so you guys can kind of see what this entire night has been like. So we managed to wake up, try and use the bathroom. Uh, I go to the bathroom and of course try to wash my hands there afterwards. Fill my hands up full of soap. There's no water on the train now. They run out of water on the train. <laughs> so thank God Angela carries around some sanitary wipes with her. I was able to somewhat clean my hands off, but yeah, fun times. Breakfast this morning. We have what appears to be a croissant, what appears to be two slices of just like white sandwich bread. What I think we think both is fruit cake, like some kind of cakey thing with like little bright pieces of jellied fruit of some kind. And then we got triangle cheese, which is my favorite. Uh, butter, uh, slices of cheese that look like craft singles, and some kind of juice. And we're waiting on our coffee. I know when I told you I got up, I wanted to show you guys something with what this train does and what we dealt with all night long. But ever since we woke up, it's like the train's only moving like two miles an hour and it's only happening now like every 10 minutes. Yeah, we can't catch it. <laughs> we we're still trying it. to catch it. Uh, if we can't catch it, we'll explain to you later on what it was. Okay, so that's the noise that happened all night long. It's actually relatively mild high right now. It was extremely violent throughout the whole night with the shaking that happened on this train. So we have made it into Cairo. We have checked into our hotel. That is going to wrap up our overnight train from Aswan to Cairo. You guys be sure to stick around for the next video. So we are gonna show you how we managed to stay in this hotel with this view for free. See you next time. Bye.